Our Lady of Warwick is believed, by some, to be a mass apparition of the Virgin Mary that occurred at the Coptic Orthodox Virgin Mary and Archangel Michael Church, in Warak al Hadar, Giza, Egypt, in the early hours 1 am to 4 am of Friday of December 2009. Others, however, point out after an examination of the footage made that night, comparing it with other images of the church building, that the apparition is probably the illuminated tower also called minaret behind the church's domes as seen from different angles, and is an instance of pareidolia. Apparition The first person who saw the alleged apparition of Mary was reportedly a Muslim neighbor. He was said to be sitting at his local coffee shop when he apparently saw a strong light coming from the Coptic Orthodox place of worship. He and others are said to have observed the light condense into a female form. Mary supposedly appeared above the middle dome of the church. The purported apparition is then said to have moved between the domes and on to the top of the church gate between its two twin towers in front of the central church building. Many local residents reported seeing the alleged apparition of Mary. A representative of the Coptic Orthodox Church of Alexandria has approved the apparitions. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Critical evaluation of the events. Topic: Mary allegedly appeared in luminous robes, in a pure white dress and a royal blue belt, with a crown on her head. Critics have pointed out that this color pattern perfectly matches the color pattern of the lights on top of and inside the tower behind the church's domes, i.e. a golden illuminated cross on top of the tower and bluish-white and yellowish-white electric light sources inside the tower. Cell phones were used to call friends, take pictures and make videos of the phenomenon and send them to friends. Critics have suggested that the overexposed and blurry quality of the pictures and footage being sent around on cell phones, facilitated the illusory perception of a figure, when in fact all people were looking at were low-quality images of the illuminated church tower behind the domes. Critics have suggested that the alleged apparition is actually the tower or minaret which is a common feature not only of Egyptian mosques but also of Coptic churches behind the church's domes with bright lights inside and on top of it, seen from different angles see figure 2. The video, Debunking Mary Apparition in Warak, Egypt, lays out the case for this natural explanation and shows how regular sharp and normally exposed images of the church tower can be turned into almost exact matches of the apparition. Images by blurring and brightening the regular images of the tower to match the images made on the day of the alleged apparition. The claim that the apparition moved is not substantiated by any of the film footage, which never shows any actual movement, only three apparently different locations. One film shows an elongated light above the middle dome, which critics say is the back tower seen from an angle that aligns it with the aforementioned middle dome. Another film shows the same elongated light to the right of the middle dome of the church, which critics say is the same illuminated tower seen from an angle that puts it between the middle dome and the dome to its right. A third film shows the same elongated light apparently standing on top of the entrance gate, but this can be argued to be the same back tower observed from standing almost right in front of the entrance gate. The fact that the apparition appears smaller in this third film is consistent with this interpretation see figure three. In response to the claim that the authorities turned off the electricity to the area to rule out a hoax or fraud, critics have said that one plausible explanation is that other power sources, such as generators, could have been used to power a bright light in the back minaret. Additional evidence that the apparition is actually the electrically illuminated tower is that footage from the night of the apparition seems to show the light being switched off inside the tower. Press coverage Topic. This event was widely covered by Egyptian newspapers, Arabic TV channels and by the international press. The news about the apparitions appeared in multiple newspapers, including the Egyptian Watani, American Los Angeles Times, Egyptian al Aram, Italian Asian News, Egyptian al Masri al Yum. An Egyptian Bikia Masr, a December 24, 2009 Agence France Press AFP article recounted nightly gatherings bringing crowds of up to 10,000 people to watch the tower in anticipation of the mysterious light over the church tower. 
which upon its appearance each night, "...jolt ed the gathering into a frenzy of cries and ululations." This article was duplicated by several news agencies, including the Assyrian International News Agency, Sudan Vision Daily, Daily Star Lebanon, and British Middle East Online. References External links Topic. Diana Mar Ghali, December 23, 2009. Thousands flock to Zaytown, Masara churches following apparition reports. Less than pre greater than slash pre greater than opening parenthesis PDF closing parenthesis dot CS1 maint, multiple names, authors list link. December 16, 2009. Egypt, Exorcism and Virgin Mary Apparitions, Mystery in Cairo. Less than pre greater than slash pre greater than opening parenthesis PDF closing parenthesis dot CS one maint multiple names authors list link YouTube Saint Virgin Mary apparition in Coptic Orthodox Church in Warak Cairo Egypt one o one two two o o nine part three YouTube Saint Virgin Mary apparition in Coptic Orthodox Church in Warak, Cairo, Egypt, the 12th of October 2009, Part One. Apparitions of the Blessed Holy Virgin Mary at El Warak Coptic Orthodox Church, Greater Cairo, Egypt, December 2009. YouTube: Debunking Mary apparition in Warak, Egypt. One. Topic. See also. Topic. Our Lady of Zaytown. Our Lady of Asiat. Marian apparition. Coptic Orthodox Church.